Hi guys, this week I have a different sort of plan with me for you guys. I will be turning my vertical Erin Condren planner into an hourly planner. I actually filmed a very similar video maybe two years ago, but the video is no longer public, so I decided to just film another one. Basically, I will be using these time strip stickers from my shop. I came up with this concept maybe two years ago, and I stopped using them after a bit. I don't know why. It worked really well, but um, I wanted to try it again for this week because it is pretty busy. The story behind why I created these strips is I really wanted to try the Erin Condren hourly planners, but the printed time slots don't work for me. I think it goes from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. and I definitely do not wake up at 6 a.m. and I work way past 7 p.m. so I decided to just make these strips to fit my time schedule and in my shop I do have three variations I think um, with different start times and end times so you can pick which one works for you. But yeah, I don't think I'll be doing this every single week, just maybe for crazy exam seasons where my schedule is super packed and I need everything in chronological order. So the kit that I'm using is a mini kit from Simply Watercolor Co. And it is a foiled fall kit and I love it so much. I find that when I plan hourly, I don't use as many stickers, so I thought this mini kit would be perfect. So I put down the decorative full box, a habit tracker, a this week header, and also a sidebar checklist. I'm just going through all of my emojis and taking a sort of poker face head to mark in that I had a midterm on Friday. I have my last midterm next week, which is for math, and I'm so glad that everything is almost over. But honestly, maybe like two weeks after all of my midterms, I am going to have to start studying for my finals. So yeah, I don't think it really stops. After finishing half of my sidebar, I moved on to Monday, and of course I had to mark in Coffee Monday. So that Coffee Doodle sticker is from my shop, and I just did some fun lettering. Then I am using my Emoti onesie washi and I know that a lot of you guys have been asking about this and I have some good news for you guys. I do believe that this video is being uploaded on a Thursday so if you're watching this on the day that I'm uploading it then tomorrow which is a Friday I will be listing limited quantities of the washi tape on Etsy as well as my website and if you missed out on the pre-sale that I had at the end of August then this is definitely your chance to get them because they will not be coming back in the future as a pre-sale or as regular stock. I just used the Emoti Washi onesie as a backdrop for the super pretty clipboard sticker from the kit to write down that I had lectures all morning. I had a tutorial from 3 to 4 so I put down a glitter flag from Two Little Bees and a Quiz Today sticker from Sweet Kawaii Design. My financial accounting midterm is on Friday so literally every day leading up to Friday was studying for that course. So to mark that, I put down a foiled flag from Station Stickers and layered on top a reading emoji from my shop. So yeah, I studied for a few hours and then I wanted to mark in my dinner. So I put down a label from Aria's Daydream and a foiled meal icon from Rose Colored Days. Then I put down a to-do header and I cut up a checklist for three hearts and I just wrote down some things that I want to get done that night. It's actually perfect because the checklist took up about three hours of the time strip and I actually did finish everything in about three hours so everything just kind of worked out. Oh and the pen that I'm using is my favorite pen. It is the Papermate Inkjoy gel pen and I use it in pretty much all of my plan with bees. I put down a little squatting emoji which I thought was so cute and then I cut up a strip of thin washi from the kit. I cut two strips so I could fit the word financial accounting on two lines and then I put down a book stack sticker from Happy Dye Stickers. Because I haven't done the style of planning in so long, this entire spread took way longer than usual to finish but I still really like how it turned out. Moving on to Tuesday, I put down a full box and I just wrote on that I had lectures all morning. When building my timetable, I tried to fit everything to the mornings just because I like to have the entire afternoon off to do whatever I needed to do. That can be more studying or running errands. I just like having the entire afternoon and evening off and not worry about having more lectures. So after that big chunk of lectures, I had a two hour break before I had another tutorial. So during that time, I did some reading. The reading time sticker is from Paper Kumako and the emojis from my shop.
I put down a foiled quarter box sticker from The Giving Girl and it has a cute little bow on it. I just wrote in that I had my microeconomics tutorial and then I wanted to take a photo and post this spread on Instagram. So I put down an Instagram icon from Happy Cutie Studio. For my management course, we have a group project where our group has to come up with a business idea and create a video and this like business plan. And our group is kind of behind because we all had the same midterms. But yeah, we really wanted to get down a solid idea. So I put down two of the foil the header swimming kit. And I also layered on top a project sticker from ColourPop Paper to mark in that we had a little meeting. Then I put down a half box and a foil icon to mark in that I had to study, of course, for my financial accounting midterm. And then later that night, I put down a emoji in a pumpkin mug, which I thought was so cute to mark in that I had a pumpkin spice latte. I just want to point out that I didn't actually have a pumpkin spice latte from 11 p.m. to midnight. I had it while I was studying for my midterm, so I kind of just put it under. Then I put down a deco from the kit and we are finally going to finish up the sidebar. I put down a foiled patterned header from the kit along with the to-do header. And then I wanted to spice it up a bit so I put down a foiled sort of bow sticker from Clever Gal Crafts. Then I wanted to jot down my general to-dos for the week so I took these really cute bow circle stickers from the kit and made myself a little checklist. I wanted to make sure that everything was lined up, so I put down a foil header from the kit at the bottom to line up with the bottom washi, and I also took a grocery modi to mark down that I went grocery shopping. I had another round of lectures on Wednesday morning, so to mark that in, I wrote down all of the times on a schedule box from Baba Bear Studios. And to block off a chunk of time, I also cut down a piece of Simply Gilded plaid washi and layered on top a sticker from Wonton in a Million. To cut the washi into a perfect flag, I always fold it in half on the non-sticky side and just snip it off so it is perfectly even. Then around the time I was filming, I actually finished designing the weather emoji icons and those will also be released tomorrow with the washi tapes. But yeah, I really wanted to use them for this spread, so I just checked the weather forecast and I stuck some on there. You can of course put them anywhere, but I find that they fit perfectly on top of the days of the week. Then back to Wednesday, I sort of put down this sweating, nervous emoji head on top of a quarter box from the kit to mark in that I went to an office hour for one of my professors. I definitely do not want to mislabel myself as having social anxiety, but I just have an irrational fear of talking with basically anyone who isn't a friend or family. So yeah, I thought that emoji head was perfect. Then I put down a full box because I basically spent the entire afternoon and evening studying. Also, something that I think is very exciting is I just purchased a new Loistrom bullet journal. I really want to get back into bullet journaling. If you guys didn't know, I actually left my bullet journal back in Vancouver when I moved to Toronto. So I have not been bullet journaling for the past few months. If any of you guys are interested, I would be totally down to film some sort of setup video or maybe a plan with me for November or just like a general plan with me video. I'm not really sure how many of you guys use bullet journals, but if you're interested, definitely let me know. On Thursday, I only had one hour of tutorial because the rest of my lectures got cancelled. I put down a half box along with a celebratory emoji to mark in that one of my friend's birthday was on Thursday. I got her a cup of coffee in the morning and also hand painted a card for her. So yeah, that's just something that I wanted to mark down. Then I put down a to-do header and a full box checklist from the kit and made my super long to-do list. Again, my midterm is actually tomorrow, so I have a lot of reviewing to do. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but on my left pointer finger, I have a massive cut. I was very dumb and lazy and decided to slice an avocado without a cutting board. And yeah, I just sliced my finger. And it was one of those serrated knives, so... Yeah, I definitely learned my lesson for next time. Back to planning, I put down a half box and a pencil emoji to mark in my midterm. And then moving back to Thursday, I'm taking a strip of washi from Prince Prussian. And I love this washi tape so much. It matches the kit really well. And I also layered on top a cat onesie from my shop. 
I have just been so tired and sleepy lately, especially with all of my midterms and the season change. If you guys didn't know, I have an older sister. She already graduated university and she's already working. Um, but back when she was in college, I used to make fun of her for sleeping so much and like taking naps randomly, but I totally understand how she feels now because I have just been taking naps like crazy. So I just wrote that in and then the laptop girl sticker is from a paperella story and the time to sleep sticker is from hello petite paper on thursday i actually met up with julia from a paperella story and it was so much fun we only got to meet up for about an hour because i had class right after but yeah it was our first time meeting and i just had so much fun catching up and talking to her on friday morning i had some much needed coffee so i wrote that down on a washi strip and that coffee sticker is from happy daya then i put down a to-do header and cut up another three heart checklist to write down some things that i wanted to review beforehand for all of my exams i like to do maybe two to three hours of reviewing before the exam or like on the morning of and then after that i just don't worry about it anymore because i feel like there's not much you can do at that point other than refreshing yourself on some of the technicalities so yeah i just decided to quickly review and then chill out for the rest of the day then i put down an emoji quarter box to mark in that tomorrow is the washi tape restock and then the reason why i put it at three o'clock is because um even though the restock is at 12 p.m pdt it is 3 p.m est if that makes any sense so i'm actually operating from a different time zone but yeah i just didn't want to be confused I put down a Clever Gal Crafts foiled bow sticker on top of the quarter box and tomorrow I'm thinking about having coffee and fries for dinner right before the exam since the exam starts at 6 so I feel like I should go into the exam with a semi full stomach. I then cut up one of the full boxes just to fit the empty space and I also put down a girl sticker from SPC to mark in that I am going to FaceTime my mom and dad. Then for Saturday, I'm planning on sleeping in, so I put down the sleep-in sticker from My Newest Addiction and also another cat onesie from my shop. So usually my new releases are every Saturday, but because I'm moving it to Friday this week, I plan on sleeping in. I've never slept in on a Saturday for like the past three years, so I am very excited. I put down a full box and also a sticker from Kina Prince to mark in that I have to start studying for my math midterm, which is next week. Then I put down a shopping emoji to mark in that I'm going to go grocery shopping for next week's food. And then I put down a foil header along with another glitter label from my shop. But I just turned it around and I'm covering the emoji with an icon from my newest addiction. The Loistrum that I was talking about is supposed to be coming tomorrow, but because I'm going to be busy studying and doing my midterm all day, that I think I am going to be picking it up on Saturday instead. So yeah, I'm really excited. Hopefully I can make more bullet journal videos if you guys are interested, but we will see. Here, I am seriously just butchering a bunch of stickers from the kit. I cut up a thin strip of washi to mark off a chunk of time. I also took another washi strip and made it into a flag to mark in that I wanted to study. Again, as I said before, I felt like this week took way longer for me to plan, but that was only because I got to be a lot more creative with how I utilize all of the stickers, and I definitely felt like it was a good exercise. Thank you guys so much for watching and for sticking with me through midterm season. It is almost over. I'm really excited. Hopefully, I can do more videos in the future, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.